Hi everyone, I'm Molly. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, and I have been on Camp Allegheny summer staff for many years. Um, I have a question for you today. How many of you are bored at home? Yeah, how many of you wish that you could be at Camp Allegheny right now, learning about Jesus, swimming, making s'mores, singing silly songs, riding horses? I definitely do. Now, let me ask you another question. If you were told to bring just one item to camp this summer, what would it be? So have you ever heard the story of Jesus going into the wilderness? He stayed in the wilderness for 40 whole days, which is a very long time. What do you think Jesus took with him to into the wilderness? Jesus brought nothing. He brought absolutely nothing into the wilderness which I think is pretty, pretty hard to do. Um, he went into the wilderness to prepare himself and he was about to choose his disciples and travel all over preaching the good news of salvation. He knew just how important this was. So Jesus wanted to make sure there weren't any distractions, just Jesus and God talking to each other. No food, no drinks, no friends, no distractions. Have you ever tried to talk to God and been distracted? I know I have. Maybe you hear your favorite TV show is about to start or you can't stop eating your milk and cookies. There might be toys to play with, friends to talk to, or a happy dog just wanting to be pet. It can be all very distracting. And the next thing you know, it's an hour later and all you've said is dear God. It happens to all of us. It happens to me as an adult. I'm sure it happens to your pastors um, in your church. I'm sure it happens to your parents. But thankfully, Jesus shows us exactly what we need to do. We need to go into the wilderness and bring nothing with us. What I mean is some place where you can be alone with God and have no distractions. Maybe it's sitting at a dinner table, kneeling by your bed, or even plopped on top of a pile of dirty towels in your laundry room. As long as it's somewhere that you can be alone with God and away from distractions. You could also try saying your prayers out loud and cover up any noise around you. You could turn your prayer into a song or poem or even making a list of things to pray about so you don't get distracted or forget anything. Hey, I get distracted all the time. But in the most important thing to remember is that God just wants to hear from you. No matter if your prayer is short or fancy, simple, silly, or serious, from inside of a church or under your bed, God just wants to hear from you. So what I want you to do now is I want you to think of three things that you're thankful for today. And I want you to thank God for them. It can be anything from the sun shining to um, the birds chirping to the fact that you don't have any, um, you're done with your schoolwork for the day or that your mom and dad just signed you up for camp for the summer. So I want you to think of those for a second. And then I want you to pray to God and thank him for, um, for those things in your life. And you can say something like this, dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the birds singing. And thank you for Camp Allegheny. In your name I pray, amen. Also, there's a verse I wanna to talk to you about real quick, and it's from Luke chapter 17, verse 16. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he has done. So remember to thank God, even if it's for the simple things or um, things that you aren't necessarily happy that happened, but remember to keep God first in your life. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, hope to see you some of the summer at camp.